we're at the Rapido Trains booth and here's Dan to tell us about what's new with Rapido Trains. Well here in Ottawa today we are showing our first samples of the National Steel Car 52 foot 6 inch Milgon. HO scale, we're also going to be doing an N scale in partnership with Prairie Shadows out of Winnipeg. Uh, HO scale one obviously being a little bit bigger we've got you know the ability to put some more extra details into it. Things like drop ends for our oversized loads. We're also doing proper Z bracing on the side so you will actually have proper relief of all the side details. We've also relaunched some of our older coaches that we haven't done in ages. Um, you've been clamoring for them, we're finally going to get to them. We have a sample, fairly early sample of our CP Caboose. We are doing those again. Those are going to be coming this summer. Not really much to say about them other than sorry that you missed them the first time. I missed my own. We've got more coming in a couple of months. We've also got B units, CN style, F9 B units, complete in a variety of different detail configurations. They are available in unpowered, powered with DC, powered with DCC and sound, a variety of different configurations, road names, road numbers. If you want them in unnumbered, we're making them in unnumbered, undecorated as well in case you want to do uh, Milwaukee Road, for instance. CNF units, FP9s, those are finally on the way. The first ones are leaving the factory in about a week or so. We should be seeing the CN green scheme ones about a month and a half after those arrive. It's been a while, but it's coming. Um, I guess the, the star of the show of sorts is our GMD1 here. Um, very, very early rough test casting, all sorts of problems with it. We know, you don't have to tell us. We're aware of that it's an 1100 body on a 1000 chassis, completely modular, all sorts of different detail variations. Uh, just like all of our other stuff, we got a full underbody, we've got the six wheel version here, we're doing a four wheel version with steam generators for those guys that are doing 1900 series passenger units. It's also going to be available at later dates in the more modern units as well. First, we're going to do the as-built versions, the 1000s and 1900s, because well, they ran in that configuration for a long time. Um, over here, we got some of our painted samples of N-Scale Cabooses, the, our projects in concert with Prairie Shadows. They look fantastic, frankly. Uh, we're really happy with how they look. We're also doing the same 52-foot, 6-inch National Steel Car Milligan, the 52-foot bulkhead flat cars. Again, this is all in concert with Prairie Shadows. If you're interested in them, give them an email. Their website is prairieshadows.com. And then finally, I, we've got a couple of Via Rail cars up here. We, uh, we are going to be doing all the Canadian cars separately. Um, we should be announcing the first car around December, maybe January. Um, it's, you know, six, seven months off in the future. Who knows what will happen by then, but they are coming. Give us some time. They will be out. Uh, and then finally, off on his own over there, we have the LRC. Yes, we haven't forgotten about the LRC. It is going to be entering production soon. We are going to be making the locomotives and the coaches starting in a couple of months. Uh, they will be available late summer, early fall. But um, again, you know, we're sorry about taking so long, but it is coming. So tell us about future projects. All right. So, um, well, the, the one that's most obvious, I guess, would be the FPA4 um, MLW uh, built unit. We've started the design process on it. We haven't started tooling. Tooling's still a little ways off. We are thinking about how we're going to accomplish it. We've got some other locomotives in mind. I guess, like I said, the Bud cars. We're going to be doing a lot more of the Super Continental line cars as well. A lot of stuff that you might have missed the first time, we're going to be doing again because, hey, it's been seven years now. Let's, you know, let's go back and do them. Other than that, you know, a lot of stuff coming. We've got more N-Scale stuff coming too for you N-Scale guys. So, uh, yeah, keep tuned. Okay, that's great. Thanks a lot. No problem, Phil. All right, cool. Take care.